Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Sleepless Ninja. And today, I am going to show you how to connect your camera to your Nexus 7. Now, in order to do something like that, we need, of course, our handy dandy OTG cable. And we're going to need a, a cable to connect the camera. And finally, the camera itself. I have a nice uh, Canon Rebel T3i that I'm going to be connecting. So, let's get started. It's actually all come standard, no additional app needed. Quite wonderful. We're going to connect the cable. Connect to the camera. And then turn the camera. Oh! Earthquake. Turn the camera on. You can see immediately on the screen we have a pop-up and I'm gonna now focus away from the camera, turn the lights on so you can see all the goodness of the screen itself. Alright? So what we're presented with is basically an option to choose a DLSR controller, which is an app that I have installed that I'm going to talk about later, or install a gallery. You can my uh, camera just actually turned off automatically; it, it idles out. Sorry about that. So we're going to choose the gallery, and I'm just going to do just once. It's one of the nice things about Jelly Bean; it has a very cool way of selecting and making choices. So here's just a handful of photos that I took with the camera and I'm just going to import. And it's really just that simple. Plug it in, it automatically recognizes it. If you have another camera app, it will recognize that and you can do an action based on that. Or it will just open up immediately to gallery and you can now download the pictures. And we have successfully downloaded them. And we can look at them. And you can see it loads them really nice and you can zoom and pinch in and still get all of that high quality now I want to mention you know this is a DLSR camera so this is taking 18 megapixel photos and these photos are showing quite well and speedy on the screen which I think is outstanding because for instance, on my zoom, they just don't load as fast as they do here. So, really, big kudos to the speed of the Tegra. Now, the, the, the color I can see is a little cool on the camera, what it's recording right now. So it's a little bit more vibrant and uh, saturated um, than what it's showing here on the screen. But, you get the picture. 18 megapixels, loading really fast, and that's not the end. You can actually take your photo and Jelly Bean, along with Ice Cream Sandwich, has a nice built-in editor, and you can take and do all sorts of things. You know, maybe we want to create more shadow, maybe we want to posterize, or we can always go back. Maybe we want to create a little film green. Are we going to get artsy? Maybe we want a fish eye. Let's let's do that. We can do a little fish eye. Fish eye the Nexus. Okay. Say we wanted to change the tone a little. All of these options are here. And easily flip or rotate. So a lot of cool little things. You can take your photos from your camera, put them on your Nexus 7, and edit them very briefly and quickly upload them to anywhere you know for those of you who are a photographer this could be a quick way of um, having it connected and showing on a pretty nice portable screen what it looks like a little bit better than the LCD screen that you're presented with or you can carry your um, you know MacBook around if you want to carry something that's probably four or five times the weight of this device so it's up to you There's, this unlocks some potential that you could um, do with this. It's it's a very cool, very useful, and an added addition for just being able to plug it in using an OTG cable that you should have for this device anyways. 
Now, there was another app that you saw, and I'm going to go into that. That's actually being able to control the camera and do all sorts of things, and that's going to be a video for a later time. But um, there is one thing that I must mention about this protocol. It does not, it's not just for DLSRs, it's for, you know, regular point-and-shoot cameras as well. Most digital cameras have the protocol that it takes to communicate and upload. However, we saw 18 megapixels. It cannot do RAW. RAW is different. These are JPEGs that are being uploaded. So if you want to do a RAW image, it's just not possible with this application. Um, also, if you have another device, this should work if it supports OTG. But remember, this is slower on older processors, like the Zoom. Those pictures would take about 5 to 10 seconds to load and really get crisp. Um, so that's one of the benefits of having a nice, fast Tegra 3 processor. Alright, well thank you very much everyone. If you have any questions, please let me know. And um, we'll take a look and take another step further into photography for the next application, which actually can take raw photos and show them. It's uh, really cool, and hopefully um, you'll think that too. Later.